Up until this point, under British law, only the British East India Company were allowed to trade with China. But in 1833, just one year after Jardine Matheson was formed, the trading monopoly was scrapped. Adventurers and opportunists flooded to Canton like bees to a honeypot. Yet Jardine and Matheson were ahead of the game. The Scots had already set up shop outside the main city walls in an area of Canton known as the 13 Factories. This was where one addiction was traded for another. Tea for opium. To entice more users, Jardine Matheson even stooped to employing a priest to distribute small opium packets with chapters of the Bible. By 1836, the number of opium chests arriving from India had shot up sixfold to 30,000 a year. Jardine Matheson was responsible for about a quarter. That's 500 metric tons of contraband. China's smokers smoked for pleasure. What could be wrong with supplying their growing demand? The officially forbidden trade was now the largest international commerce in any single commodity anywhere in the world. The reaction wasn't long in coming. In 1839, Emperor Dao Guang declared a war on drugs. And here in Human, at the mouth of the River Pearl, they have built an opium war museum, which tells quite a remarkable story. So these are the 13 factories. That's how it all started. The emperor ordered a series of drug raids on the Western traders. Here are two heroes, Mr. William Jardine and Mr. James Matheson, described as opium smugglers. Neat. The Chinese army locked the British traders in the 13 factories and forced them to surrender. 42,000 opium pipes and 20,000 chests of opium with a street value of two million sterling were seized. All of these pictures denote the scale of the suffering that people went through as a result of uh, the overindulgence in opium. I mean, there's a mother crying with a child there, a slightly emaciated figure, looks really quite far gone. The confiscated opium was smashed up and dumped into massive pits. And on the 3rd of June, it was chemically burnt by adding lime. And eventually it was washed out to sea Apparently the stink was appalling. <laughs> 